1972. This is the release date of the first arcade game, and since then, there have been many video games. But do you know what they all have in common? They all have glitches. But since I mainly talk about Hill Climb Racing 2, you probably asked yourself, what is the biggest glitch in HCR 2 history? Today, we are going to talk about this. But first, we should go back to 2012, because if you don't know, this is the year that Hill Climb Racing was released. Initially, only Tony Fingerroos worked on this game, but the team grew and it was named Fingersoft. Thanks to the huge team, Fingersoft was able to start working on new projects. After a lot of hard work and effort, in 2016, Fingersoft released Hill Climb Racing 2. At first, people really enjoyed Hill Climb Racing 2. Unlike today, it was great and fun, but like every other game, it had bugs. There were some small bugs for sure, but there were also two very big and very nostalgic glitches. First of them was the flying formula bug. This works in a very unusual way. We all know that formula has downforce to help the vehicle stick to the terrain, but if you turn the vehicle, the downforce will work in the opposite way, which will lift the vehicle into the sky. It must have been really fun, but now it's very nostalgic. You're to the point, Leo. Very great. The next bug was also very unusual. It was called the flying bus bug. For this bug to occur, the thrusters had to be used before the race started. You could break the entire vehicle with this bug. Pretty insane, but as we can see, these bugs only happen due to lack of testing. You're very smart and active today, Leo. Chill out, bro. So I've already talked about two critical bugs in Hill Climb Racing 2 that happened in the early years, but I will talk about specific bugs now, because to make a historical video with almost every date for almost every bug, I would have to do an insane amount of research, which I probably wouldn't have done able to. But from now, let me group all types of bugs. So, we have useless bugs that are rare or hardly change the gameplay, normal bugs that can really disrupt the gameplay or change it in a good way, and critical bugs that are just insane. So, starting with the first category, the most useless bugs are probably the flying alligator and the flying boat. Who would literally use these bugs to their advantage? We can only use them in time attacks, but in this mode, we have to be as fast as possible and these bugs could take some time. You're very exactly, but I would also add flying parts in the garage, no invisible wall on the far far away cup, disappearing graphics and low rider suspension glitch because these bugs are also useless. Let's move on to the next category which is normal bugs. I wish I was a main character like Potato. So normal bugs are common and can sometimes disrupt your gameplay. Some of these include glitched body, glitched camera screen, and getting stuck in a bone in Racer Glacier. I know there are tons of other bugs in this group, but I can't list them all. The next and last category are critical bugs. Most of them mainly make gameplay easier or are simply coin glitches. But first, let me give you some examples. Glitches that make gameplay easier are, for example, the scooter bug and bugged water in the Gazer. Now let's move on to coin glitches. If you don't know what they do, you can earn a lot of coins using them, sometimes even being AFK, but you can get banned for them and Fingersoft patch them very quickly. However, it was possible to do them with scooter, motocross, rally car, hill climber, monster truck and dune buggy. That's a lot of vehicles. But what's the biggest glitch in Hill Climb Racing 2? Opinions are conflicting. It could be the flying bus bug, the flying formula bug, or the AFK coin glitch. I could end this video there, but you can probably guess that I forgot something, namely the Masteries. In May 2024, Fingersoft added Masteries. Masteries improve your vehicle, but in order to get them, you have to earn XP by driving with a vehicle, and once you earn the required XP, you have to spend a lot of coins. Fingersoft said they had been working on them for over a year, but they probably left the testing for us because Moonlander got an insane glitch. Moonlander, like any other vehicle, received four masteries. One of them is Eco Thrust, which decreases the fuel consumption of the thrusters by a half. This is probably the best mastery in Moonlander. But did you know that Moonlander has an upgrade to its thrusters? With each level up, the thrusters become more powerful, but they also consume more fuel. You can probably already guess what the players discovered. With the first level of the thrusters and this mastery, you can drive with Moonlander for over 90 seconds before running out of fuel. The only requirement is to use the thrusters during this time, but in some maps such as Moon, this is no problem at all. 
But have any records improved with Moonlander? Of course, yes. Some of the improvements weren't that great, especially in Gloomvale and Racer Glacier, but some other were, especially in City and Sky Rock Outpost. These records are simply mind-boggling. But did you know that in City, it would probably be possible to get up to 70K, but unfortunately, the game crashes after 44K. This is just crazy. Before Masteries, Moonlander had 10K only in Forest, Desert Valley, and City. But after Masteries, it doesn't have 10K only in Canyon Arena. This already shows how powerful Masteries are. But could something like this happen in the future? Maybe, yes. Currently, only three vehicles have Masteries, and there are many other vehicles. If something similar happens, it will be related to the vehicle's capabilities. Perhaps something will happen to the downforce of Formula or the boost of CCEV. Who knows? But this glitch is also so crazy, because Moonlander was a very bad vehicle before. If, for example, Rally Car got a very powerful mastery and got many great records, players wouldn't be so surprised, because Rally Car was very good before. You gave a great example, Potato. By the way, you forgot to mention the scooter glitch and the chopper glitch in City. Well, these bugs are really huge, but they don't make the gameplay easier. The Moonlander Mastery Glitch is the biggest glitch in Hill Climb Racing 2, because not only is it very crazy, but it also helps a lot while playing. But looking at this case, try to imagine what will happen when other vehicles will get their masteries. Imagine if they wouldn't be playtested a lot. 